Hello and welcome back to another Full Japan Artifact tutorial. Today we're taking a look on how to create animated stream alerts for your live streams. I am making this video in collaboration with Verizon FX, who is going to show you how to animate it within Artifacts. I'll leave his social media links in the description below if you're interested. So let's get into it. Alright, so start off by creating a new document and make it 1920 by 1080 and have the resolution on 72 and make the background color black. Alright, so let's start off by creating the circles. So grab our shape tool, you can right click and change it to ellipse tool. Can press down shifts and drag down the basic circle just like this. Deselect the fill and make it a stroke and make the stroke around 25 pixels and we're gonna change the color to a nice orange just like that you can control and T and make it a little bit bigger just like so we can right click and rasterize the layer then double click to bring up the layer styles then go to gradient overlay we're gonna have a black to white gradient and have the blending mode on overlay and uh, Let's have the black up here and the white on here, so I have the angle at around minus 100 degrees. Then go to bevel and emboss. I'm gonna have inner bevel, then the chisel hard, and the depth at 1000%. Let's bring up the size to around 1%, and then have the highlight mode on overlay and the color white, just like that. I'm gonna grab a text tool, and I'm gonna make this a donation alert, so I'm using the font Guillaume graphic. I have a link for that in the description below. So let's make it orange and just like so. If you're making like a follower um, alert or subscriber alert, you can have, uh, you know, some other icons, uh, maybe a star icon or a follower icon, I don't know, or even your logo here. But I'm gonna have the, the dollar sign from the font Gium graphic. Then we're gonna, from our lips, we're gonna right click and copy layer styles and paste it onto our dollar sign. Just like so, we're gonna make it a little bit bigger, like that, perfect. Then for our second circle, create a new layer under the first uh, circle. Go to our lips shape and create a, a little bit bigger circle. And I think I'm gonna make it purple so just like that and let's bring down the pixel size to around 9 pixels 8 pixels we can make it a little bit bigger just control and T just like that and right click and rasterize it as well and then paste the layer styles but I'm actually gonna double click and drag down the opacity on the gradient a little bit just like so let's make it a little bit bigger as well yes perfect uh, we can now select everything using shift and click on the top layer and control and G to group it. Then create a new layer. And now we're gonna use the polygonal lasso tool right here. We can use L as a shortcut. Let's create a shape just like so. Then control and backspace to fill it in. Let's hide it so we see a little bit better. Gonna make it a little bit bigger, center it as well. If you see you have some Access black, just select it and backspace to, to delete it over here. Gonna fill it in just like so. But now you can see the purple circle uh, overlaps the black shape. So let's go into our group and on our second circle, we're gonna select a little bit a part of it. Maybe it's like so. And on the bottom as well. And Use backspace to delete it, just like so. Then let's create a gradient for black shape. So go to our gradient tool and let's make a quite a dark blue and black, just like so. I'm using the circle gradient if you want to call it like that. And then press Control, hover over our layer window. Use right click and it selects uh, the shape. Press G on our keyboard for the gradient tool. Then you drag out like so. You have a basic gradient just like so. We can control and U and drag down the saturation a little bit if you think it's too blue. Then double click on it. Go to a stroke. 
and make it the stroke an orange, like, just like so. I have the size on four and the position on outside. But as you can see, we have some parts that are sticking out. Just you need to polygon the last tool and just delete some of it. Just like so. Here we have some parts that are sticking out. Delete that as well. Yeah, perfect. Go back to our text tool. I'm gonna type out donation or whatever, something like that. Make the color black. Make it quite big. Just like so, and then right click and rasterize it. Then I right click again to create a clip mask to our black shape. I'm gonna make it blend mode. So flight, and we can drag down the fill a little bit. Just like that, it gives a little texture to our shape. Then for our final shape, make a new layer. Go to our circle tool or ellipse tool. Create a small shape just like so. You can deselect the stroke and select the purple fill. Just like so, we're gonna paste our lay style. And again, I'm just going to drag down the gradient a little bit and change into highlight mode on the bevel and boss to soft light. Then let's create a new layer uh, under our back shape. Go back to our lips tool and create a little bit bigger circle. Now we're gonna have a stroke at around maybe six, seven pixels. Have the same purple color, position it around Helix School, paste our lay style again, drag down the opacity on the gradient, as well as changing the blending mode to soft light on the bevel and boss. Just like so, perfect. Um, so now Verson is gonna show you how to animate it within Photoshop. So I'll leave it to him now. Thanks for me. Hey, what's up everyone? Um, as you can see, this is part two. This is the animation part of the tutorial that I'm making with Edward. Of course, Edward made this really cool um, alert design and I will be showing you how to animate it. Of course, as you can see, these lighting effects weren't really included in the file. I added them as extras. You can always add those yourself to just spice up your alerts. So I will remove these right now. And um, so this is what we are going to make today. It's really cool, it's really easy to do as well. Uh, I don't really know how I did it. So I'm gonna have to peek back sometimes, look at the files and check what I did and then I can explain it to you guys. So what you first wanna do is press Ctrl I and you want to uh, import the PSD that Edward made. Make sure it's set on editable layer styles and composition retain layer si sizes. And then you want to double click that and as you can see here is our project file thing uh, we can remove the bottom layer because that's just the black screen we can also let me check yeah we want that to be there as well so this is what we have right now and as you can see in the beginning of the one that i already animated just this one just skills up uh, and these kind of radio wipe that's what it's called um they just kind of swipe in so we're gonna do that first we're gonna uh check what layer is what thing in the project file. So this is the, the donation icon. So we're gonna place a keyframe at one second and then place another keyframe by clicking on this little square, tilted square. And uh, we're gonna set the first one to zero and then we're gonna select both keyframes, press F9, click on the graph editor icon, select the right keyframe and drag it all the way to the left while holding shift because oh no, that, that will keep this one straight and locked in place. Um, so there we go that's easily scaled up it wasn't that hard so next we want to of course uh, make the the side parts these ellipses we want to uh, animate those in so we're gonna type in radial wipe we're gonna add that as well um, at zero we want to set the uh, transition completion at 100 and we're gonna set the starting angle to 90 so we're gonna place a keyframe at zero seconds uh, hold ctrl shift and press the arrow to the right three times to uh, end up at one second and we're gonna place it at zero there we go so as you can see it's really stiff so what we want to do is again select both keyframes press f9 go to the graph editor and drag to the right keyframe as much to the left as possible the handle there we go that's much better and of course it doesn't really ease out and that's because um as you can see it already like seven percent it's already here so we have to um, drag this a little bit up until it's right over the 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 border thing 
there we go that looks much better so we're gonna copy this uh, effect and we're gonna place it on this ellipse as well there we go and of course you can play around with the timing but this is a full ellipse so we really want to set this to zero and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select these keyframes and drag them five th frames uh, to the right so there's like a little cool delay there we go we're gonna select uh, make the other layers visible as well there's a little dot here there's the donation thing and there's finally the ellipse so what you want to do is you want to select both of these ellipses and with this lasso thingy uh, drag on the layer 10 uh, so that means that if i move layer 10 uh, the other layers will move along with it so that's called parenting as you can see parent and link it's parented to layer 10 uh, so what you want to do right now is place a keyframe at um like two seconds right now click on a keyframe press p on the layer to pop up the position properties and then just slide it to the left a little a little bit there we go and again we want to drag this to the left but this time also select the left keyframe and drag it all the way to the left as well so it's like really fast but as you can see um it's still visible behind there so what you want to do is you want to click on the pen tool and create a new shape layer that only covers the uh, part that we want that we want to be visible so we're gonna drag it above this and set the track mat to alpha mat shape layer one and as you can see now it's only visible at the part where the shape layer is so there we go that's much better and then we want to of course during this slide we want to scale up the ellipse so i'm gonna click on one second scale the ellipse up there we go press s and go one second to the right again and place another keyframe set the left keyframe to zero select both graph editor and of course add this easy easing and we can add the effect the radio wipe press e to bring up the effects we can add the same effect to um the ellipse over here there we go that's pretty cool and then we're gonna type in cc light sweep there we go we're gonna add it to the donation part layer and we're gonna add a little light sweep so i'm gonna go for purple i just wanted to be a little bit lighter so there we go that's much better like 50 set this to like one 100 as well so it's like a really nice cool edge maybe 1.5 that's all right i guess we're gonna set this to smooth that looks best probably just turn down the sweep capacity uh, sweep intensity a little bit and the width as well maybe 50 just play around with it a little bit until you think it looks good maybe set it to sharp that's all right i guess um so we want to match this angle so i already looked up the angle it's 45 degrees as you can see it matches up perfectly so we're gonna place this center here we're gonna place a keyframe um oh wait we're gonna undo the keyframe and just set it at one second real quick place keyframe move a second to the right and then we're gonna place the center to the right at the right part so as you can see now it gets animated as well and we want um this to be like a little bit smoothed out as well so we're gonna just drag this drag this a bit to the right just play around with what looks best according to you as you can see it's still a bit slow you, we want this to happen sooner so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select uh the yellow uh ellipse maybe drag this a little to to like 20 or something so it's going a bit faster that means that we can also edit this and set it to like 20 frames as well so it's just a bit more sooner a bit more connected to everything maybe the light sweep is a bit too fast i'm gonna set the center drag it a bit to the right it's just mainly trial and error just checking what looks best there we go so that's basically what we, that's it uh, with me there popped up a little flaw as you can see so we can just easily fix that by going to like 15 and pressing ctrl shift d on the layer that's causing the problem make sure to drag this under there we go it's gone 
So if you have any problems, make sure you comment it and I will try to help you out or either me or Edward will do that if you have a problem with the design part. Um, as you can see, for some reason they disconnected. So what we're gonna do is gonna drag this to the left, connect these again. There we go. And they are connected again. So thank you for watching. I'm sorry if it was a bit of a messy tutorial. Um, I just made this little animation and I thought it looked pretty cool. So if you liked it, make sure you like uh, this video, subscribe to Edward's channel, subscribe to my channel. Be sure to follow us both on Twitter, all of that stuff. Um, so thank you for watching this tutorial. Again, sorry if it was a bit messy, but I still hope you learned something from it and you enjoyed watching it. So see you later, everyone.